we've got a heavy one here, folks. This is very heavy. Listen to that noise. It's great. Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to another episode of Weekly Bullion. Well, today we're going to go ahead and open some more boxes, and we're going to talk about the silver and gold that's inside. But before we get started, if you don't mind, go down below and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel. And while you're at it, please go ahead and hit that like button as well. It will help send this content out to more people just like you and me who enjoy precious metals. Well, let's get right to the content of the boxes. Okay, let's see what we've got. You know, I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving, by the way. Mine was pretty good. I enjoyed having some family around. And so I didn't I didn't focus too much on buying silver this week, but I do have a couple new pieces to share with you. So let's go ahead and open this. Okay, let's see, what is this? Pretty cool, this is an MS-70 first day of issue, 2018 Chad African Lion. And let's go ahead and look at that a little bit more closely. That is a very beautiful coin here, and it looks like it's from the Republic of Chad, which is right in the center of the African continent. I had not seen this coin before, and I saw it for the first time and I really liked the depiction of the lion on the obverse. And so I said, you know what, let me go ahead and pick this up. And honestly, I'm gonna enjoy this for a little bit and I'm probably gonna go ahead and hand it to my daughter who loves animals. And this can just go in her stack so that she can continue to enjoy precious metals. Pretty cool lion, African lion from Chad, MS-70 first day issue. It's a beautiful coin and a nice geography lesson there on the back as well. Just in case you didn't know where Chad was, well, now you know. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, we'll just set this off to the side. Okay, let's keep opening. Okay. We got a heavy one here, folks. This is very heavy. I'm gonna have to be careful. Okay, let's see what's in here. All right, very nice, guys. We have some weight, so it would seem. All right, I think that's it. Let's just take a little bit of time here and go through this. This first one is five ounces of these germanium mint bars. So this is a five ounce germanium mint bar. You know what I love about the germanium mint is that their stuff comes in these boxes, which are great for stacking. So you can just kind of go ahead and just put these together and just stack them inside your safe or wherever you want to keep those. And then when you go ahead and open them and take them out, each one is serialized, as you can see there. And they're kind of shrink wrapped with this kind of plastic wrapper on it. And it has this hologram of authenticity on the back. So this is a high quality bar and it's a great bar for stacking. I love the germanium mint bars in the five ounce variety and in the 10 ounce variety. And I think I have about 20 ounces total here, five ounces each. I'll just go ahead and take these out just to show them to you side by side. Beautiful bars, they look great in the hand. You can just kind of keep them there just like that. And so that's 10 ounces right there. And then here's another five ounces to go with it. And then another five ounces to make 20 ounces of silver. So you can just put them in your hand like that. They're shrink wrapped and there you go. You've got a nice little stack there. Just put them on there just like so and you've got a stack so for now we'll just go ahead and keep those right next to each other there and then let's keep going let's see what's in here hmm, let's see here what is this oh nice okay so it looks like we've got some more coins here And these look like they are Canadian maple leaves. Well, that one is. 
This one here looks like it is a coin from Fiji. We'll look at that in a little more detail. This is a do not shred on me. We've got two of those. So let's look at these a little bit more closely. Okay, so this first one is the Canadian Maple Leaf, four times fine silver. It has the Maple Leaf Privy on it. And then on the reverse, this is Queen Elizabeth, and this is from the year 2022. Canadian Maple Leafs are great to stack. They're right up there along with my American Silver Eagles and also the Britannias as my coin of choice for stacking. So glad to have those. This here is a constitutional right to bear arms round. And on the back of this, it just has the Second Amendment. The right to bear arms shall not be infringed. Okay, let's go on. This here is another cool coin. Probably great for young kids. It's got the dinosaur on it, a helicopter in the back. And uh, let's just look at this. This is a coin from Fiji, 2022. And this is like a Jurassic Park coin. So another nice one to have. And finally, another right to bear arms round, protected by the Constitution. This is pretty cool. I love how it has the inscription of the Second Amendment on there. And this looks like a picture of Thomas Jefferson on the front. So we'll put those two together and we'll put these off to the side. So not a bad haul today but we have some fractional gold. Let's go ahead and take these out of here and take a closer look. Okay, so this is a 1 10th American Gold Eagle, and I got this at an excellent value. I think I purchased this one for probably right around $220, and I think that's a great deal on an American Gold Eagle today. This is one tenth gold. Pretty small when you think about it, but when you hold a uh, five ounce of silver up to one tenth gold, this one tenth gold is actually worth more than this five ounces of silver. As a matter of fact, it's almost worth 10 ounces of silver, okay? You can get 10 ounces of silver, maybe a 10 ounce bar, for probably right around, I don't know, 250, 260. And there are people selling the 110th Gold Eagles for that same price. I got mine at a little bit of a better deal, but still, it just shows you how dense of a store of value gold really is. That a 110th ounce of gold is equivalent to these two really beautiful, chunky pieces of silver. And they're both excellent you know you want to stack some silver you want to stack some gold and of course I always put my gold in the air tights so I've got an air tight here and this gold just goes right in that air tight and not only do I have uh, that one tenth ounce of gold ladies and gentlemen but I went ahead and I also picked up another three ounces so four ounces total of the one tenth gold eagles. Let's go ahead and get these in the air tights. Beautiful fractional gold right in the air tight. Another beautiful fractional gold right in the air tight. And what I like about these air tights is that they fit the one tenth ounce gold eagle just perfectly. And so there's no rattling around. Great way to store your gold. We've got one more here, and right into that airtight it goes. Really nice, great way to store the one tenths. And I just, oh, listen to that noise, it's great. That is airtight, no pun intended. All right, so the one tenth uh, gold eagles, I'm kind of new to stacking these, but you know, once I get started on something, I kind of get fixated on it. And so I'm gonna be stacking one tenths for a while. In addition to the one ounces, I'm still picking up one ounce gold, you guys. But um, as far as a fractional value, 
I kind of am liking the 110th Gold Eagles. So we'll uh, keep stacking those as we go. And there we go. So there you have it this week, folks. This is not a bad haul for the week. We have 20 ounces of the beautiful Germania Mint Bars, five ounces a piece. We've got this Republic of Chad African Lion, one ounce coin, and that's an MS 70 first day issue. We've got some Second Amendment rounds. We've got a sovereign uh, Canadian silver maple leaf, and then we also have the Jurassic Park coin as well. And then four fractional ounces of gold. These are the one tenth ounce gold. So glad to have these pickups in my stack on this Thanksgiving week. Much to be thankful for this week, and I'm sure you all are thankful as well. Let me know down in the comments, what did you all stack this week? What do you think of this variety of coins? What do you think of this really cool lion from the Republic of Chad? Just look at that. So let me know down in the comments, and let me know what you're stacking as well. Well, folks, that's all I've got for today. Until next time, stay blessed and keep stacking. Thank you.